Hello and welcome to this edition of Two Minute Drill. We're here to talk about the COVID-19 response and crisis that faces uh, all Americans and certainly here in Illinois as well. And as we're, what we've been talking about is that there's really three crises that we are focusing on here at the Illinois Chamber of Commerce. The first is obviously the public health crisis. Uh, the governor's doing a great job keeping the public informed, uh, making sure that we've got good policies in place to keep people safe. But the area that we think that there needs to be more emphasis on is the economic crisis. 30 million Americans and 830,000 Illinoisans have applied for unemployment insurance in just the last few weeks. These are outstanding standing numbers that demand attention. So this economic crisis has got to get more attention. It's got a lot of attention in Washington. We think Springfield needs to come back to work and go ahead and uh, devise some strategies to deal with 830,000 Illinoisans uh, who have uh, filed for unemployment claims. So the Illinois Chamber is recommending the three R's. We talked about this last time, responsible, reopening, and rehiring. We've got to recreate demand in the economy. And government assistance is great. Uh, the federal government has put a lot of money out there. The state programs have been helpful, but there's no substitute for recreating demand in the economy. You've got to do that through reopening and rehiring. So let me go ahead and talk about the third crisis which is rapidly jumping to the to top of the charts in terms of businesses' uh, ability to go ahead and reopen and rehire, and that is the liability crisis. <clears throat> We're already seeing lots and lots of lawsuits from the trial attorneys who are trying to turn this crisis into a bonanza, a payday bonanza. Uh, we saw it back in 2008, 2009. They're already circling, and we've already seen an awful lot of lawsuits and we're only going to see more. So our friends at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce are doing great work on this. So at the federal level, you've got four issues. Uh, first, we'll talk about securities liability. This is a little more focused on 500, uh, Fortune 500 companies who may have not disclosed enough of their, li of their liability or exposure to demand issues related to the crisis. But local banks here in Illinois and across the country are also have exposure uh, the trial lawyers are coming in saying you didn't disperse the money from the Paycheck Protection Program in an equitable way. So the small businesses, businesses perhaps didn't get enough money, large businesses did. You see businesses giving money back. It's largely because of this liability issue that they want to go ahead and give that money back. Medical liability and product liability have actually been addressed a little bit here in Illinois. Uh, I've been on a lot of conference calls where the governor's executive order that has put out limited liability protection for products and, and uh, medical, uh, that is uh, individuals that are on the front lines, nurses, doctors, EMTs that are really serving the, uh, the populace, uh, they are getting some uh, protections as are uh, manufacturers that are moving into uh, new products such as making masks, making ventilators. There needs to be more to be done on this, uh, but at least here in Illinois, and I think at the federal level, those are the two issues that have the most consensus uh, across the aisle to go ahead and address those issues. The biggest exposure for all of us though, everyone in the business community, is exposure liability. Did employers do enough to go ahead and keep their employees and their customers out of the way of harm? We've, uh, you know, there have been CDC guidelines that have been out there. The vast majority of businesses are in compliance with those, but we know the trial bar is going to try and exploit any nook and cranny they can to go ahead and find, again, that paycheck through that lawsuit. Exposure liability is uh, the, the key thing. So for that reason, we're asking you to call Senator Durbin, Senator Duckworth, and express your support for Leader McConnell, who has come out and said liability protection has to be part of the next bill. So please go ahead and contact them. But there's also state exposure in this area as well. A tight federal bill still allows the trial bar to go ahead and exploit state laws to go ahead and find a way to sue your business. It could be the False Claims Act, public nuisance lawsuits, 
other state consumer laws. So we need a state piece of legislation that will go ahead and clamp down on those abusive lawsuits as well. So uh, Key Stats and Doug Darch are leading an effort here at the Illinois Chamber to go ahead and find the answers to this as much as possible, draft a piece of legislation. We'll get that in the public domain and ask the legislature to act on it. Thank you.